Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends here in Washington, D.C. at the Charles Schwab Impact Conference. Annual conference, it's always a blast, and I'm lucky to be here with Tony Davidow, who's vice president of alternative beta and asset allocation strategies for the Schwab Center of Financial Research. That's a big mouthful, Tony, but it sounds like you've got a lot going on. It is, and there is a lot going on. Tony, in, in the ETF place, and most advisors know the pure beta, pure index version of ETFs, mm -hmm. we all thought that active ETFs were going to be the next wave, but sure enough, there's this whole middle ground, the smart beta world, that it, that's exploding. Tell us about that. Yeah, it, we think it's very exciting because we'd argue smart beta or alternative beta strategies capture the positive attributes of the traditional market cap strategies and a lot of the benefits you get with the active management. So some would argue you're really marrying together the best attributes and introducing something which is different, alternative, or smart, and hence the name. So do you see this as the next wave of the ETF growth strategy? We, we do, although I would be careful to point out these strategies have actually been out for quite a while, and I think there's a lot of academic research showing the value of these strategies over time. But I think as more and more uh, strategies come to the market and more people pay attention and they see the experience that clients receive, they've grown in popularity. Uh, much of the early adoption was institutional. Now what we're seeing in the ETF world, a lot of interest in these strategies, and very broadly, these smart beta strategies can be uh, captured through fundamental indexing, low vol, minimum variance, or even equal weight strategies. So uh, that's the idea. As we talk about you know, smart beta, smart indexing, there are a lot of different words for it. I mean, you meant, mentioned fundamental indexing. Give us kind of the ABCs of what that means sure. and how that is wrapped into an ETF. Sure, and, and the first, the first uh, jumping off point should probably be what is market cap? And market cap essentially provides the largest weighting to the largest companies in an underlying index. Not surprisingly, Apple is the largest name in most of the major indices because it's the biggest company. Right. Fundamental indexing seeks to take advantage of uh, factors available in the market, readily available, readily able to screen securities based on it. But fundamental factors look at, or fundamental indexes look at fundamental factors to screen and weight securities, providing a very different experience over time. So our historical legacy indexes like the S&P 500 and the Dow that really have done quite well over mm -hmm. time, this really creates more of a smarter way to put an index together. And for the average advisor that may have been using these index-based tools over time to maybe implement those strategies, now through the smart beta ETFs that are available, they've got these strategies all wrapped into one product, right? Yeah, and, and, and our view is it provides more choices, so we don't yeah. believe that these strategies replace the market cap portfolios. In fact, we would argue that uh, smart beta strategies serve as a really nice complement to the market cap strategies, and there will be periods of time where one will perform better than the other, but there are appealing attributes of both, and we think it's just an evolutionary step forward. So at the Schwab Center for Research that you're working on, tell us about some of the things that you're doing and how you're helping advisors and individual investors do a better job uh, as far as allocation to ETFs. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great comment because I think you're, you're right. There are so many options available in the marketplace. It's very confusing sometimes for advisors. So we've written a lot of white papers. We produce videos. We're providing uh, education as we travel around the country. And in a couple of themes, we're, we're looking at the role of active and passive strategies. And we have a framework for making decisions around how you should allocate between active market cap and fundamental strategies. Uh, but also specific to the smart beta discussion, we are providing a lot of research that provides the framework for advisors to distinguish amongst the strategies available in the marketplace because they're not all created equally. And in fact, if you understand the construction methodology, you start to realize there are certain tilts and biases that are introduced over time. So our view is if we can do a better job educating the advisors, they can do a better job on their client's behalf. I know you've been a fan of ETFs for a long time. Is this an exciting time? This is the most exciting time. <laughs> the most exciting time. Tony, thanks for spending some time with me. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tom. Thank Always a pleasure.